If you want your vocals to sound thicker, have more impact and hit you in the face like your grandma would if you were swearing when you were a kid, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how to use parallel compression the right way and explain how it works. But before we use the power of science to create electricity after the apocalypse has turned everyone into stone, I've got a question for you. That question is, what's the easiest compressor to use for great vocals? Leave your answer down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. Just stay tuned. Now let's get into it. This is one of my songs that I've been working on and let's create a quick loop. And what I'll do is I'll show you it with parallel compression on and then I'll turn parallel compression off, okay? So this is with the parallel compression and the doubler, by the way, and a bunch of other effects, but we're just gonna be talking about parallel compression and turning that off and turning that on. So this is with it on. So Let's actually go back a little bit. Here we go. This is with it on. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shared a bed, never thought that it was love. Okay, so that's that. And then this is with parallel compression off. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never. And then let's loop it. So I'll turn it on and then turn it off. I'll put my finger up when it's on and put my finger down when it's off, okay? You see how it just adds a little bit more oomph, brings it up a little bit, makes it more in your face than before makes it a little bit thicker, okay? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> don't clip that. But let's get into it. Let me quickly explain what parallel compression is. Parallel compression is when you send your vocal audio, well, we're talking about for vocals, when you send your audio to another track, so a send track, and you add a compression with a very high ratio on it, so a 50 to one ratio on that compressor. So it's totally squashing the dynamics. If anything goes over the compressor, it's squashing it down 50 to one, okay? So every one dB that goes over, it's getting beat back down. And then of course you match the gain and all that sort of stuff. Then you mix those signals together, your original vocal audio and your totally crushed dynamics. You mix those together and you get this nice thick sound with vocals that are in your face, but also still have dynamics. Like you haven't gotten rid of all the dynamics and making it sound like a box, okay? The reason we'll use compression is because we still want the dynamic range, but we also want that thickness. We want that impact as well. So you mix those together, blend them together instead of using one or the other. And this is how it works. But before we get into that, if you want five of my best beats for absolutely free, click on the link down below, go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats. With these five beats, you can actually get your music heard by uploading your music to Spotify because they all come with basic licenses. So you can upload your songs to the major streaming platforms where people actually listen to music. So if you want to make money from your music, you want your music to be heard, this is the best deal for you because it's absolutely free and you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to grab these beats because they're not going to be free and available forever. Link down below. Now let's get to the next step. How do we actually set up parallel compression? What we need to do is we need to create a send track to send our compression to. So let's actually bring this out here so we can just use our full mixer and let's create a send track. Honestly, I haven't done this in ages. I haven't created a new track in ages because my vocal mixing template just has everything set up for me. So maybe a little bit rusty. If you wanna grab my vocal mixing template, link in the description down below. So we're gonna add a effects channel. Then with our effects channel, we are going to add a compressor. I'm gonna add a CLA compressor, CLA 76 mono, because vocals should be recorded in mono. So we're gonna use a mono compressor for this. Here is our compressor. Then we're gonna set our input to about 30. We're gonna leave our output the same. We're gonna move our attack all the way up to make our attack longer. And we're gonna go to this ratio and go to all. This means all the compression, okay? <laughs> Basically all the compression. So this will actually compress our vocals to hell and back, which is exactly what we want. And we'll leave the release the same. So what we did is we basically didn't touch the input, didn't touch the output. 
we move the attack up and set our ratio to all. That is what we've done right here. The next thing to do is to send our vocal audio to our effects channel here. So this is called effects one. I'm not gonna rename it because no real need to right now. But in order to do this, we have to come down here to our sends, which is under this track. This is gonna be based in Studio One because that's what I use, but you can use these same reasoning for any other DAW if you know how to create send tracks and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna click add send and then we're gonna select our FX track one and we're going to send our audio through. So this is where we can select how much audio we're sending through. If we play it back. Your head on my chest in my arms like we're getting a lot of our compressed vocals coming through. And if we click this single button, like a solo button, we'll get that. Never shed a bed, never thought that it was love. Return with friends like we never had sex. And we can hear that coming through all by itself. Or we can solo this. That's before. Never had your head on my chest, in my arms like a vaccine. We are getting a bunch of other stuff through. So let's turn all that off. So you can just hear what the parallel compression sounds like with nothing else on. So this is the vocals with no sends on it. Never shed a bed, never thought that it was love. Return with friends like we never had sex And then before. this is it with parallel compression. Your head on my chest, in my arms like a vaccine shot. So that's just the compressor. At this point, we want to mix these together. So we can use the amount that we're sending through here to mix it together. And we can also use the fader on the actual parallel compression channel. Let's pull this down a bit because it's a bit much. Never shed a bed, never thought that it was love. Return with friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest. That sounds pretty much perfect to me. So that's about where I'd put it. And that's giving me the sound that I would like. Now, this is a very, very good compressor. I will leave it linked down below. It's because CLA 76 by Waves. Links in the description. Also, this vocal mixing template that I'm using here is available for you to grab. If you use Studio One or FL Studio, it's gonna be great for you. Even if you don't use those DAWs, it does come with a PDF that walks you through every single setting that I use for my vocal mixing. So you can set up your own template using that PDF and have your vocals half mixed before you even get to the recording stage, which is perfect. All I do is I load up this template, I start recording and all this stuff is already done for me. I don't add a new parallel compressor and all that sort of stuff, but you've already learned in this video how to use parallel compression, and that's gonna make your vocals sound way better, give it some oomph, give it some thickness, and slap you in the face like a very annoyed girlfriend. Or annoyed date, I don't know. Does your girlfriend slap you in the face? I don't know. Anyways, earlier on I asked you a question, and I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna answer that question right now. That question was, what's the easiest compressor to use for great vocals? The answer is Arvox. So instead of using CLA, which is, you know, it's a great compressor to use, but you need to learn about, you know, input and output and attack and all that sort of stuff. Instead of using that, what we could use for compression, which I would apply to my main track and not to a parallel compression track, is Arvox Mono. And it's so easy. Look at it. Look at it. It's got the compression, which is, it's kind of a threshold. I think it works as a threshold. Chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shed a bed, never thought that it was love. Return with yeah, it works as a threshold. My friends, like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shed a then we've got a gate and we've got some gain as well. Super, super easy, only three controls. You can basically just mess around with the knobs without even knowing what it does and get the sound that you want. I highly suggest you grab this. I'll leave this linked in the description down below as well. If you wanna get good vocals, really really quickly this compression is going to help you out a lot now if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below check out that video next and i'll see you